Hi, so today I'm here and I want to talk to you about how you can start with your first oil painting. So when it comes to oil painting, it sometimes gets very intimidating and very scary because there are a lot of lots of mediums out there, there are lots of types of oil paints and what to choose, what not to choose and um, sometimes it gets very confusing. So when I began my oil painting journey, it was confusing for me as well but it does not have to be so confusing and uh, you can start off with very basic materials that you have and uh, yeah, you can begin your journey with oil paints. So the first thing that I want to talk to you all about are the surfaces that you can use when it comes to oil paints. So like any other basic painting, you can use paper to work with while you're working with oil paints. But there is one property of oil painting that you need to keep in mind and that is that oil paints get absorbed on the surface very quickly. And and that can affect the strength of the surface. So in order to prevent that, what you need to do is you need to create a barrier between the surface and the oil paint. Now, how you can do that? Not to worry, it's very easy and simple. There is something called gesso that you need to apply on the surface. So the gesso that I have right now is this one. But there are many, many basic brands that have gessos. Like one that comes top of my head is the Camlin gesso, and it is very readily available in the Indian market. And you can use that to uh, create a layer between the uh, oil paint and the surface that you're using. And when you apply that gesso, you can easily do the oil painting even on paper. So the paper that you can use while oil painting can range between 100 to 200 GSM. So these are basically the papers that you get in your sketchbooks that you use. Uh, you can see the GSM mentioned on the top of it. So you can use between anywhere between 100 to 200 GSM. I have used this paper which is which lies close to uh, 150 to 160 GSM and painting came around very good. This was a basic paper from my sketchbook that I had used. I had just used a layer of gesso on the paper. So the way you can apply the gesso on paper is just take the gesso in a container, mix it with some uh, two or three drops of water and then use any flat brush and put it on the surface of the paper and then let it dry for some time. And then the paper is ready for you to oil paint. Uh, these are the other paintings that I created on paper and these are oil painted as you can see these are pieces of papers from my sketchbooks and I just used a layer of gesso and then voila I painted with oil paint. So you can easily paint on your papers on that you get from your sketchbooks that you use generally for acrylics or other type of paints so you can go ahead with them and start your oil painting on them as well. So after paper comes the basic canvas boards that are readily available in the market and you can use these for oil painting and the results come out pretty good on these basic canvas boards as well. You get it in different sizes and you can opt for any of the sizes that you prefer and yeah, you can work with oil paints on these as well. Don't forget to, to put on that one layer of gesso on the top of it. It is just good for the longevity of your paintings as well and in general while you're painting with oil paints. Apart from these canvas boards, what we have are the wooden boards that you can use for your paintings. This one is done on a wooden panel and they are also readily available in the market. You can go to any nearby art store and you'll find the wooden wooden boards and they are pretty good for oil painting. Just apply that one layer of gesso and you're good to go and the end result comes really good. It uh, The texture of the wooden boards are slightly more plain uh, than the canvas boards but yeah you can still work on them and they are pretty good. So yeah that is, that is another option for the can surface that you can use. The last option that I have and that you all are very familiar with are the stretched canvases and stretched canvases are good when you like when you're used to working with oil paints I would suggest if you're just starting off start with paper or canvas boards or something which is a bit easy to work with but you can always go for the canvas stretched canvases. Uh, I have used stretched canvases of different sizes and yeah, this is one of them and 
the oil paint always comes out good on the stretched canvases don't have to worry there are a lot of different sizes i just could find this one so i'm showing this one to you all but yeah stretch canvases are always a good option when it comes to oil paints so now that we have talked about the type of surfaces that we can use let's move on to the oil paints that you can use for starting off with oil painting so the one brand that comes on the top of my head is the Camlin student grade oil painting so this the Camlin student grade oil paints are pretty good if you're starting off i started off with cam camels oil student grade oil paints and you can get your hands dirty with those and learn as much as possible before moving on to any artist grade oil paints so uh, they are pretty good and they are easy to work with and yeah if you're starting off go with that but if you want if you have tried oil paint before a little bit here and there and you want to move ahead from the student grade oil paints you can definitely try the artist grade oil paints by Camlin and that they are pretty good too and you can work with them uh, they are slightly more artist grade as you know but uh, nothing to worry about you can go ahead working with them the same way you work with the student grade i'm not trying to scare you i have worked with but for the longest time i still work with them i still uh, use them here and there and you can definitely try it out apart from camlin the other brand that comes to my mind is the bristro and the bristro's oil paints are pretty good too they are pigmented and you can get a variety of wide range of color shades in bristro the one thing that i liked the most about bristro was this, that there were so many color options available in case of bristro so you can also go ahead with the bristro ones Apart from that, there are pretty many brands available, but I will not go into them. Uh, to begin with oil paints, go ahead and use the Camlin ones, or you can try Bristro if you want a little bit more pricey side because Bristro is a little pricier than the Camlin one. So yeah. Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk to you all about are the mediums. So yeah, when it comes to mediums, uh, it's really confusing about which medium to use, which not to use. Don't worry, I'll cover you up here. So mediums are basically uh, uh, the replacement of water that you use in case of oil paints. In acrylics, you can use water, but in oil paints, you do not use water. You need to use something called medium. And mediums are different types of mediums are available in the market for you to work with oil paints. The one that I started off with and you should do is the linseed oil. Linseed oil is the best uh, medium that you can start working with uh, because uh, it's easy to work with linseed oil as compared to other mediums when you're first starting off. And again, Camlin has a very basic student ba student grade linseed oil available uh, and that too in a very smaller quantity. They have like this size of uh, linseed oil available and you can use that when you're starting off with your oil painting. Apart from linseed oil, the other thing that we have in market are the turpentine. So turpentine is another medium that we can use when we are working with oil paints and Camlin has a turpentine, there's still turpentine option available. One downside of using this turpentine is that it has odor which is very um, toxic and uh, if you are uh, uh, if you are below 15 or 16 years of age and if you are working with it at home in uh, a space that has no ventilation I would not recommend you to use the turpentine oil because turpentine can be toxic when you inhale it so don't go with turpentine go with linseed oil instead but uh, while you're working with it keep in mind that you need to have some sort of ventilation available because these have some some toxins available in them and so i would suggest you that uh, paint somewhere that has ventilation i have this distilled turpentine here with me i have the bigger bottle but you when you're starting off you don't have to go with the bigger bottle you can get the smaller one and see how it works for you turpentine is pretty good the only downside is it has a very uh, irritating kind of a smell that i do not like but you can always replace turpentine with linseed oil i I, I have created so many paintings using linseed oil and it works like a miracle. So uh, the linseed oil that I have right now is this one. This one is also pretty good. I don't 
don't know if you can see but yeah this one is also good uh, but you can always go with the camlin one and linseed oils are very good when it comes to oil painting apart from these two options if you, if if you move a little bit more ahead uh, there are odorless turpentines available which can easily be the replacement of the distilled turpentine and odorless turpentine as the name suggests does not have any odor and they are good for you to work with uh, so i have an odorless turpentine here there are different brands that sell the odorless turpentines you can easily uh, search and get them but the one that comes top of my head is the Winsor and Newton's odorless turpentine and that i had used for the longest time uh, so you can also go ahead and try that if you want uh, but yeah apart from that you can uh, go with the basics or go with the odorless turpentine and linseed oil is your friend uh, apart from that there are certain gel mediums also available these are for those who have already tried oil paints um, you can go with the gel mediums uh, there are two benefits of using gel mediums first is they uh, dry faster and they are also very easy to handle so yeah you can use gel mediums uh, Winsor and Newton's have very good gel medium and I have used this one for the longest time and it helps me when I want um, the painting to dry fast and I what I do is I mix this with the linseed oil so that the texture is not that gel that thick gel but uh, it's also good so you can go with the uh, this gel medium uh, if you want to uh, if you don't want to work with linseed oil or you have already tried that and want to try something new these are readily available in, in India and you can use it for oil paints and I find that when I'm using this gel medium which dries fast uh, it helps me and it gives me a feeling that it's I'm working with acrylics you know because it dries so fast and but in case you're working wet on wet technique uh, on um, the oil painting then I would suggest not to use this because this dries pretty fast and you would not get that wet layer to work with so yeah only when you need the layers to dry quick you are working on wet on dry technique then this is good next up we have brushes so if you're starting off with oil painting and you're thinking that you need something different for oil paint some different kind of brushes then no my friend you can start with basic brushes that you have at your home that you use but one thing that i would suggest is if you work with other mediums like for example acrylics watercolors uh, then keep those brushes separate and get a separate pack of brushes for oil paints and keep them separate for oil paints only so that will help you um, in maintaining those brushes as well and also will help you in uh, you know uh, all the mixing up of water with the mediums that you're using with oil paints and all such things so the brushes i use are these ones now these are the round brushes and they are pretty helpful i like the longer ones while i'm working but you can get the smaller ones as well there are two types of brushes synthetic ones and organic ones um <laughs> so this can be a controversial <laughs> opinion but i prefer the synthetic ones over the organic ones so these are the organic brushes that i had tried and uh, i don't really like them i don't like the texture of them they are pretty rough uh, I like the synthetic ones, these are the round brushes that I have and also the flat ones. So you can go with any of them, uh, whichever you are comfortable in, flat ones or round ones. When you're first starting off, it does not really matter. You can just start off with any, any of the brushes that you have. Just try to keep them separate from your other mediums that you're using. The next very, very important thing that I want to talk to you all about the oil painting is the mixing palette that you use. So I have tried all the mixing palettes that are there um, when it comes to oil paints and what I prefer is, uh, it can be a little different thing that I'm preparing here but I prefer glass for oil paints. Uh, don't worry, you don't have to go to the market and get the glass cut in order to get a glass what you can do is you can buy a cheap uh, photo frame and use the glass that you get inside it but if you are below 15 years of age i would suggest you to get this done by your parent so take off the glass from the photo frame and try to tape it on a cardboard like this 
so you need to you need to cover all the edges of the glass with the tape so that you do not injure yourself while you're working with it and yeah just tape the glass on some surface like this any cardboard sheet uh, will work so if the edges are taped then there is no nothing to worry and you can use the glass then for mixing so for oil paints i have found glasses to be extremely useful i have used the wooden panels i have used the normal plates i have used everything but nothing works well like the glass do uh, trust me and you'll thank me later so i what i do is i have this piece of cardboard that i got on one of the packages from amazon and i just uh, stick the glass on the top of it with the tape and then i use here for mixing and it's cheap last thing that i want to talk to you all about is varnish so if you're working with oil paints or acrylics or any uh, medium for that matter uh, i get a lot of questions about how i protect my paintings i have paintings from years and years back like i have very old paintings and i have kept them protected so the one thing that i do for protecting my paintings is using a good quality varnish so when it comes to varnish please do not use the camlin's varnish the quality is very bad and uh, they have just destroyed my paintings uh, i don't like it at all so i have recommended camlin for all the other things but i would not recommend you the Camlin's varnish please do not use it you can use the uh, Newton's Winsor and Newton's varnish and this works really well uh, I have been using it for quite some time now you can get this one too it is available online and you can varnish your paintings with this but but not before the painting dries of course this uh, is non breathable varnish so that is uh, another thing about varnishes there are two types of varnishes one that are breathable one that are not so the breathable varnishes are those that uh, even you apply on the painting even after you apply on the painting the painting still keeps on drying but non breathable ones once you apply the varnish the painting will not get any room for drying so uh, dry your painting properly before using the varnish not sun drying i do not prefer sun drying my paintings i just let them dry naturally keep them for a good 4 to 6 months and then you can use the varnish for varnish i suggest you for two things for gessoing and for varnish i suggest you to keep two different brushes after your paint painting is dried you uh, take this in a small container and put uh, two two to three thin coats of varnish on it uh, i can make a separate tutorial if you want to know how i use the varnish but yeah this protects your oil paintings for long so all the all these information that i have given you will be sufficient for you to start your first oil painting and i would love to know what you think if you have any questions you can put them down below in the comments uh, i would like to help as many of you as i can and yeah you can also start your oil painting don't have to worry it doesn't have to be so scary and yeah i 